टुडे वी विल सॉल्व वन प्रॉब्लम आस्ट इन द ईयर ऑफ गेट 2006 फॉर टोटल फोर मार्क्स बिकॉज इट वाज अ लिंक आंसर क्वेश्चन एंड द प्रॉब्लम वाज आस्ट फ्रॉम जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग द प्रॉब्लम इज लेबोरेटरी सेव एनालिसिस वाज कैरीड आउट ऑन अ सॉइल सैंपल यूजिंग अ कंप्लीट सेट ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड आई एस सीव आउट ऑफ फाइव हंड्रेड ग्राम ऑफ सॉइल यूज इन द टेस्ट 200 gram was retained on is 600 microns sieve 250 gram was retained on is 500 micron sieve and the remaining 50 50 gram was retained on is 425 micron sieve so for this we have first question the coefficient of uniformity of the soil is and the second question the classification of the soil is so we can solve this problem here so you can see they told total amount of soil is given 500 g and out of this 500 g 200 g was written on 600 micron so i can prepare here see this is suppose you have 600 micron sieve then suppose you have 500 micron sieve and then suppose you have 425 micron sieve total amount was 500 g of the soil and Out of this 500 gram of soil, 200 gram was retained on 600 micron and 250 was retained on 500 micron. So I can write here. Here it was retained some 200 gram. Here it was retained 250 gram. And on 425 micron sieve, the material retained is 50 gram. So if we add, we can see here the total is 200 plus 250, 450 plus 50, 500 gram soil sample. now they told in the first question to calculate the coefficient of uniformity for the test for the given soil so what we can write here we know the coefficient of uniformity cu is equal to d16 divided by d10 d16 means 60% material is the finer than the dimension d 10% material is the finer than the dimension d so here we see 60 value of d60 we calculate you should calculate here 60% of the total material so let's see 60% of 500 g so what is the value 60% of 500 g this is equal to 300 g so you should know ki from which soil through which sieve through which sieve total 300 g material is passing so we come to the point and we know from the sieve number 600 micron from the sieve 600 micron total material 250 plus 50 means 300 g is passing means through the sieve number 600 micron 60% material of the total material is passing that means your d60 becomes 600 micron so this is the the value is 600 micron in the same fashion i can estimate the value of d10 also d10 means what 10% material is passing so we say 10% of total soil means 500 g will be equal to 50 g right so in this case you see total soil is 500 g 10% is 50 g so identify through which sieve only 50 g material only 10% material is passing so i <coughs> see and i find through this sieve number this 500 micron through this sieve five of size 500 micron only 10% material is passing only 50 g is passing that means your answer for d10 is 500 micron so i can write here d10 is <coughs> 500 micron now you have estimated the value of d16 d10 put this value of d16 d10 here and we can estimate the value of coefficient of uniformity so it is equal to 600 divided by 500 so 6 divided by 5 the value will be 1.2 so four options were given so answer is b 1.2 <coughs> so this was your first problem first question of this problem now the second part of the question is the classification of the soil is 
classification of the soil is again four options were given sp sw gp and gw so you see in the second problem second part of this problem they asked to uh, classify this soil so you notice first of all on the basis of size of soil we decide the soil you see here <coughs> what is the general range for silt for silt the range is here uh, greater than 2 micron but less than 75 micron but here you see everything is retained above 425 micron that means it is not a silt means it is not a fine grain soil then we come to the coarse grain soil in coarse grain soil we have two type of soils it may be your sand or it may be your gravel if I talk about sand the range is uh, varying from greater than 75 micron but less than 4.75 mm so yeah I can say it is greater than 75 micron it is greater than 425 means definitely it is greater than 75 micron but less than 4.75 mm so you see it is less than 4.75 mm only 600 micron retains 200 gram so major portion is here sand only because it is the total size is varying from uh, 4. Point, it is varying from 75 micron to 4.75 mm but for gravel it should be greater than 4.75 mm to 80 mm right so here i ensure it is a sand okay so uh, for second problem i can say it is sand but sand we know it may be two types sand may be poorly graded sand or sand may be well graded sand so how to find this grading so grading we decide on the basis of the value of coefficient of uniformity so if the coefficient of uniformity and the coefficient of curvature are within the suggested range so what are the suggested range for well graded sand so i can write the values here for if cu is greater than 6 then it is definitely your well graded sand and cc is in the range of 1 to 3 means greater than 1 but less than 3 then also it will be well graded sand so here we see the value of coefficient of for unity coefficient of uniformity is given 1.2 we have estimated 1.2 which is not in the given range right if it is greater than 6 then we call the soil is uh, the sand is well graded but right now it is equal to 1.2 that means it is a poorly graded so we do not need to check the value of cc okay so here we say the given option the given soil is poorly graded sand so we have given four options so option number a i can write is the correct answer so for second part answer is a poorly graded sand so for first part answer is d uh, option d coefficient of uniformity is equal to 1.2 and for second part of the question answer is a poorly graded sand thank you